Mike Alford here from Z3 Controls to talk about how to set up a simple dashboard with the NetMeter. The NetMeter provides a simple method for building dashboards. The purpose of the dashboard is to collect data from multiple NetMeters and combine that data into a single screen. What is important about this dashboard method is that it does not rely on a special centralized server. As a result, there are no monthly fees. If you want to be able to access the dashboard remotely, that is, outside of your firewall, then your IT person is going to have to enable port access on the internet router. However, as long as you are inside your firewall or connected through a VPN, then the operation is seamless. Here's how it works. This is your typical corporate network. It is connected to the internet through a router. Wireless access points provide access to your mobile Wi-Fi devices. Net meters are also added to your network and connected through Ethernet. Now one of the net meters is going to be designated as the dashboard host because it is going to act as the host server to deliver the consolidated dashboard. When the user wants to access the dashboard, the dashboard host will collect the data from the other net meters and forward it to the client web browser. That web browser may be either local or remote. Setting up the dashboard is very simple using a web browser. Start by going to the setup menu of the net meter that you are going to designate as the dashboard host. Select the LAN network configuration option. Note that you will require the administrator password in order to proceed. Go to the dashboard setup section. In the list of net meters box, you need to enter the IP addresses of the net meters that you want to include in your consolidated report. You can enter either IP addresses or addresses that are provided through the default domain name server. However, you cannot use the NetBIOS addresses such as the default net meter like you would use when accessing a net meter through your web browser as described in the user manual. For most net meter installations, it is recommended that each net meter be assigned a unique fixed IP address in order to avoid the possibility that the IP address may be changed dynamically by the DHCP server. When using fixed IP addresses, you probably already know the IP addresses of all the net meters in your system. However, if you need to determine what IP addresses have been assigned to each net meter, there are several ways to do this. Z3 Controls provides a utility called the Z3 Controls Device Discoverer. It is a program that you install on a PC. It scans your local area network for any Z3 Controls devices and displays them in a list that includes the IP address. You can download the Device Discoverer software from the Z3 Controls website. Another method to determine the IP address of each net meter is to simply browse to each separate net meter and determine its IP address through the status page available in the setup menu. Once you have your list of IP addresses, then you simply enter them into the LAN network setup screen. Each IP address should be separated by a space. Note that you should not prefix the IP address with HTTP colon slash slash like you would normally do for a web address. 
In order to include data from the host net meter itself, place an entry called local rather than specifying its IP address. For demonstration purposes here, I'm going to make a mistake in one of the IP addresses. I'm then going to save the dashboard settings by clicking on the button. Then you can access the dashboard using the View Dashboard button. Notice that the dashboard is having trouble initializing on the last IP address because I have deliberately made a mistake. Nonetheless, the dashboard will ignore the mistake and display results for the addresses that are valid. Now I'll go back and fix the mistake and then view the results. The dashboard shows a spreadsheet style information display that is being continuously updated. It shows real-time power demand. It shows how much energy has been consumed so far today and an indicator about how this is trending. The yesterday column shows the energy consumed yesterday and a trending arrow relative to the previous day. The seven day columns are similar but for a seven day period. Lastly, you can see the total energy consumed since the net meters were placed into service. The last row of the spreadsheet sums up all of the data and shows the overall trending. Clicking on the links of individual net meters takes you to their individual home pages. Here you can drill down and view real-time and historical graphs. The past one minute at one second resolution, the past two hours, the past two days, the past week, and so on. You can view historical data. You can compare day over day. You can plot energy details from the extended data logger. You can view the real-time electrical parameters. You can even analyze power quality and harmonic distortion. All this and more is built right into the standard net meter. All you need is a web browser. There is no software to load and no monthly fees.